Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access where I have decided that I'm going to start a new thing but we'll fork it from the previous save, the career save or science save that I've been doing and what I'm going to do is build a Leif station and a base on Leif is the goal here and we will see how well the game is going to be able to deal with that in this particular version. So previously I had built a station around Kerbin and that was supposed to be sort of like an ISS and then also a base on the moon and there were many issues with that because those were in the earlier versions and those were less stable so I used a space shuttle to build the station around Kerbin and that was fraught with all sorts of issues and then the moon base tended to have the moon base modules explode whenever I added a new one to it. Uh, so we're going to see how this works now with Lathe and we'll do both things. We'll build a station around it and we will build a surface base. Uh, but I am going to use the existing for science save and we're going to create a fork from it. So we're, we're going to have the same technologies. But I'm not going to proceed with the EVE mission at the moment because it seems like me and my YouTube audience are not on the same page on this and I'll just do the testing off to the side. It seems like people are tired of me testing the EVE mission. Uh, at least that's what I got from the comments. So I'll, I'll continue testing the EVE mission until I have a good solution and then I'll just sort of complete that series with that solution hopefully. So uh, this uh, for the purposes that we have here, I'm just going to eliminate this <laughs> as it's trying to decide what to do about it. And that's probably for the best. That's probably for the best. But I do have some ideas about what to do with it. But let us set that aside for now. So I'll go to the tracking station and eliminate it. And then we are going to proceed with some lathe, interesting lathe things. And so I'm actually going to clear everything from the save. But our technology will still be the same. So that's a goal. I thought about just doing it in sandbox. But... I, I, I think this is better. The good thing about Lathe is uh, we can use a straight up space plane and land it. And we don't have to have the vertical landing option. We don't have to have a drop ship. We saw a horizontal landing will do, but there are quirks. Like, we don't want our Kerbal City pose. We don't want the plane to accidentally blow up. There's a lot of fraught issues with using the plane on late, but we were quite successful at landing it, so that's good. And we were able to land things pretty close to where we wanted them. Like, we had to visit that one monument on the, uh, th that object on the surface. Uh, we will need our base modules to be on wheels, I think, though. I think each base module will have to be mobile so that I can get close to the other base modules. This may cause problems, but we'll find that out. That's what the goal of this is, to find out what problems might occur when we do this. So, we did have our previous lathe plane, lathe shuttle, but that's no good for this purpose, right? Um, it doesn't have... Well, see, this is a problem. If we're going to get cargo out of it, this is not good, right? Because obviously we have to have the big wings on the bottom to shield the hydrogen tanks, because otherwise the hydrogen tanks will blow up. But then we can't just plop a payload out the bottom. So we're going to have to actually have an opening, a cargo bay on the nose, as if this is a C5 or something. So, yeah, we're gonna have to have a nose cargo bay, and that's uh, got balance issues, right? That's complicated. This one doesn't have a lot of heat tolerance. But we don't have the Mark III style cargo bays. Space shuttles is- oh, the, the Mark III parts are here. We need 6,000 science somehow. Okay. Alright. Um, we'll launch the station first. Okay, so now we have to launch the station <laughs> to Lathe. Uh, what we want to do is have the station have the little space lab. And we need 6,000 science from it. So that we can unlock the space shuttle parts. And preferably the Mark III fuel system. So that we can construct 
our space plane that can land on the surface. They still have a max temp of only 1,000? These have 1,500. But look, the cargo bays are an integral part of the space shuttle. Please let them have more heat tolerance. They should just all have 1,500 because they have the heat tiles at the bottom, right? The cargo bays have the heat tiles at the bottom. <laughs> Please. Oh, man. Okay, so... So that's a bit of a problem. Is Are they even worth it? They'll be able to carry a bigger base module, but... I guess we'll have to have them. Okay, so... Hmm. I don't know if this... Uh, let's go back and make the small shuttle, still. So if we take a look at the center mass, center of lift... Um, we need some more dry mass up here. Or I need to move the wings further back. If I move the wings further back, the hydrogen tank will be more exposed. Maybe I should just add another wing piece at the bottom of this, but still the nose cone's gonna be totally wrecked. Um, let's just have two of these again. But that'll increase the center of lift though. <laughs> I mean, it'll bring the center of lift forward. Eh, no, let's not do that. Um, that's the best way to protect these though. We have to think about what happens when the payload goes out and it has to climb back to orbit, you see. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what dry mass to put up here. I don't... Maybe a reaction wheel. Okay, hopefully that'll be stable without the payload. So, uh, rover. It has to be able to plop on the ground despite the lack of a ramp. Let's keep that in... Oops. Let's keep that in mind. I wonder if it could be used for towing things. <laughs> uh, probably I shouldn't think about that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna change the root part. Making all sorts of RTG sounds when I do this. Did it really get on that docking port? I guess so. Really a tight fit. Let's not have it be so tight a fit. I probably built it the wrong way around too. Okay, let's take this out to the runway and see. It all falls apart. That'd be hilarious. Uh, anyway. Oh, there's a Kerbal on. I really didn't need that in my life, but okay. No. Undock. Okay. Alright. Well. Um, let's put on parking brakes, please. Um, switch vehicles. Hopefully that's the rover. Oh no, no, I can't drive in there like this. Okay, we'll need to put a little thing for it to drive on. Okay, let's revert to VAB. Hopefully it can drive on on the panels. That might not be wide enough, though. Okay, well, let's try and put some edge panels to keep it... ...happy. Alright, let's see if the little rover can come out now. I'll leave the cargo bay open. I should have action group the... ...docking port, though. Okay. Stop bouncing, please. I need to change the suspension. It's sort of digging into the panels a bit, huh? I spent all that time getting the panels there and the panels don't aren't drivable. What are the point of the panels? I mean, I thought the panels should be. This is a problem. I mean, will the Mark III cargo bay even work to get the rover out? What if... What about the landing gear? But the landing gear doesn't have any motor, but... I'm just wondering whether these wheels will collide with the surface, that's all. We're not expecting it to move properly. Nope. So, uh... It's interesting. Yeah, 
Yeah, that they're also going into the thing. All right, wing parts will try. This is so unlikely to work, but okay. Let me. I just want to see where I can drive on it. So let me take those other wheels off. They did not produce any meaningful contribution to the situation. No. Well, okay. Somewhat indecisive. The the. The control surface seems to be moving it. The, the only way I can think of is actually plopping it. We, we, we just have to plop it. Initially, I was under the impression that we would not be able to plop things because the wing would be in the way, and the wing is protecting the hydrogen tanks. But we are going to see whether we can plop it like this. And uh, the question is whether the cargo bay is going to explode. Now, this also complicates the placement of this wheel. Hopefully that's straight enough. Okay, and we'll put a little structural piece in there. No, um, go, go, yeah. Okay. We don't need a hinged nose for this then. I'll want a nose with better heat tolerance. Okay, well, we'll need a bigger nose with better heat tolerance. I'll move the engines back a bit. Could just use a decoupler instead of a docking port. It may be... Oh! 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 Okay. Hmm. That was more violent than I expected it to be. Maybe we'll lower the front landing gear. But... Then the cargo beam might not- oh gosh darn it. I uh, just need to work on that suspension stuff. Okay, fine. Um, no, this thing. Okay, now can you deploy? Hmm. Okay, maybe we need to lower the suspension on those two, because it seemed to bounce up afterwards. Okay, let's just go back to the VAB and lower all suspension. Is there a purpose? It's not like we're worried about the spines of the passengers anyway. Anyway, uh, I still think lowering the landing gear is probably a good idea. Okay. Oh, I keep ha having to get that up. Um, I don't think we can do a rover. I don't know if I can land any payload like this. Is there anything we can do to land things on the surface? Okay, I've got... I've... <sighs> Alright, uh, there is potentially one foolproof way. We're gonna add landing legs. No, uh, we're just gonna add these just like this. And they're not gonna have suspension. Okay. I don't think it actually exploded. But boy, is what's his name jittery. And I'm not entirely sure I trust it. It's back. Oh, oh, no, no. Okay, yeah, it's backwards. Hmm. Okay, so it can drive like that. So these are these were actually placed too high. I mean, trucks have these sorts of things. Okay, let, let me try to get it so that it doesn't have any bounce to it. It's probably because the wheels still hit the ground. Okay. Well, that's not the worst. We need to reverse the control, though. It's still... the wheels still work.
It doesn't turn the wheels as much while I'm moving as it does when I'm stopped. I mean, potentially it's not the worst rover ever. We... Drifting. Okay, anyway. Alright, we, we'll say that that's good enough. The landing gear, if they're extended, interfere with anything, sort of. Okay, we need to turn this into a shuttle. Now, we probably want cross-feeding. Oh, we had boosters on the shuttle before. Uh, not boosters, external tanks. Uh, I didn't pick up the one with the external tanks, so this one is probably wrong in some fundamental ways. Uh, that's not a good sign. Maybe we shouldn't slide it that far down. Or I think I added an extra tank here. Don't know if I need Separatrons for these. Because we'll be ejecting them when we're in space, but... That should do the trick. Okay, but they're all over the place. Okay, why does, sta why does staging hate me? Why can't it move stuff? <laughs> this isn't gonna tell me anything useful. I think it overweights the Separatrons way too much. There's no way our thrust vector goes like this. But the little Separatron thrust is counted for quite a lot and I'm not gonna go around shutting off all the Separatrons, so... So, we are at a lathe window and we'll just see if this works or not. Probably I'm going to have to tweak this. Okay. Ignition. Wait. Don't do that. <laughs> no. No. Oh, they made the tower not collidable. Uh. Oh no, it's rolling for some reason. No. Don't do that. Oh, uh. Okay. Fine, we'll go this way. Just stop. Stop. Stop rolling. You have SAS. SAS is happening. We're going way too shallow. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, uh... Let me revert to... No, let's revert to VAB here. The problem is the SRBs take time to spool up. Which is, like... Not a good idea. Okay, and you just... Well, we can't do that ahead of time. Alright. Okay. Go up. Go up more. It still flipped the tower. We actually need to rotate by 9 degrees. Well... We're going sideways quite a lot. Ah, uh, no, it's it's hopeless. It's unacceptable. I can't actually control this properly. <laughs> we could probably get to orbit. Guess we'll take that for now. This is the old fashioned way. Go straight up and then straight horizontal, right? We should just do that. Okay, well, we'll leave that officially suborbital. I have a reaction wheel on here, I swear. A, s a dedicated reaction wheel, even. Maybe it's on backwards or something. Okay, but we want to make sure all the hydrogen is in the shuttle. You are an in-tank. You are an out-tank. Almost stopped off. I guess that's okay. We've got some Delta V over there with that stage, but it's not worth it. Okay. Those are the wrong ones. 
I thought we had covered this earlier. All right, off you go. And we are going to enable fuel crossfeed on these. And might as well get the solar panels out. How's our rover in there? Just watching all that ruckus. Th oh no, we've got a Kerbal! I didn't want to send a Kerbal with it. Well, at least he doesn't consume any resources. Fine. <laughs> I've... I didn't think I had put a Kerbal in because the portrait wasn't coming up, but it's down here. Bill! Anyway, fine. We're sending Bill to Lathe. Okay, we have made orbit. Let's plot. Well, that looks like an inclination correction for mid course correction, so. Alright, we are going to do that. Should I believe that little marker thingy? Let's just see. Ah, uh, we're going too far. We're going too far. Gosh darn it, Kerbal. That bar wasn't going down. That wasn't going down. Huh? So this is on its way. But in this window, we want to launch our station modules too for the science. So let me just leave this be. Go back to the Space Center. Okay, so what I want to do is send the research lab over to the dual system. It'll start off by going to all the planets to get science. I mean, moons to get science. And then end up in lathe orbit as the core of our station. Okay, um, we're building a rocket underneath. So this has 3,600. That should be good enough. Should we put other signs? I guess we should put an antenna. Yeah, yeah, got that. Uh, and bat oh, we should have batteries too. Let's tuck these in though. We don't want them poking out like that. And we'd like a stage to transfer it. We don't want it using its own fuel too. To transfer it should be doing... It should be doing science with all of that. So... That's about the right delta V for the tuba. Okay, so we'll we'll call this uh, Leif Station Module uh, Science Module Science Module, which will actually be the first module in this case. No, no Kerbals. No, no. Wait, we do need Kerbals because science. Okay, fine. You get to stay. Uh, Kerbals be in Science Lab. Okay, they are in the Science Lab. Right. There's only a Science Lab. I took the other thing off. Alright, uh, so SAS is on, and hopefully this will be more stable going up than the shuttle was. Hey. Okay. okay, we're gonna need enough height for the tuba. Okay, and fairings. Okay. Probably a good idea. Okay, we are in orbit. Seems pretty good. Still, inclination is an issue, and that'll be mid course. A mid course correction thing. Okay. Well, I got some new science there. Takes a bundle to transmit it, though. I should have put a nuclear reactor on this. I'll wait until we're in daylight. When the space plane comes back, we'll probably want it to bring back the samples. So, we've got a mid-course mid correction of 115 meters per second that we can probably just do with this stage also. So we will. And so this is on its way to Lathe. And we will see what happens with these two missions when they get to Lathe next time.